Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. It's going to be more of a day in the life today, an unplanned vlog, because I was in the middle of cooking some lunch and Adam decided he was going to... Uh, well, he's about to come help me like so. <laughs> but, but I was in the middle of cooking lunch and he decided he was going to build my pantry shelves. Fuck, calm down. He was going to build my pantry shelves right now. So I'm going to quickly get our dinner, which is going to be um, shepherd's pie. It's not shepherd's pie, though. It's made with ground meat in the oven. And then we're going to go outside while he makes these shelves for my pantry. He's going to make two shelves for me. And I think later on he may build me a third one for up high. Because I have three shelves right now, but I want six. So I'm going to get this done and put in the oven. And then we're going to be going outside. But he's coming in to help me light the oven because... Ew! <laughs> Go throw that away. <laughs> um, our old camper was easy to light the oven. And this one, for some reason, we have to light the pilot light every single time. So I'm going to get him to light the oven for me and then finish putting all this in there and then throw it in the oven. Hello you guys. I did want to pop in on here and I do want to remind y'all that even though we cut the wood in this video with limited protection, my husband is wearing gloves and he is cutting this wood very carefully. I was not in any harm's way during him doing this project, but I do want to put this disclaimer out there to please properly have the right equipment and the right protection before you mess with power tools or any type of thing that may become harmful. So I do want to put that disclaimer out there. No one was hurt in the making of this project, but please, if you do a project, please make sure you have your hat, your gloves, your safety glasses, anything to protect yourself from flying debris or from getting hurt. Like you probably don't want to wear short sleeve shirts like we did in the video, but yeah. So disclaimer, please protect yourselves from being hurt whenever you are messing with power tools. All right, you guys, so a recap. He is building me a shelf to go about 10 inches up so I can fit some tall stuff here in between these two shelves. And then he's building me another one in between that shelf and this shelf, about 10 inches up so I can have more storage because we have a lot of baking stuff since we now have the room. And it's just, I'm concerned with it overbearing, being overweight on these, because this isn't, um, the shelf itself is this light paneling. It's not straight wood, and I'm just concerned that eventually the shelf is gonna bow and fall. So that is what he is doing. So we're gonna head on outside and see what's up. Quick. Where's your chips? You left them outside. Yeah, let's go get them. Yeah, Daddy was using the saw. So he is out here doing measurements. Yep. He's using spare wood. As everyone knows, wood has gotten really expensive. So instead of us going to the local Lowe's or Home Depot, we are using our leftover wood that we had from last time he built shelves in our old camper before we traded it in. So excuse the bird poop over there. So he is just using the leftover wood for us to build these shelves so we don't come out of pocket and it just takes some time and some skill to measure it out, cut it. 
screw it together and I don't think we're gonna paint them this time um, so yeah that's what we're up to hello you guys I just wanted to hop in on here because the next few video segments are a bit long and I don't want y'all to get bored but again I wanted to say thank you for coming back if you are a subscriber already and I want to say welcome if you are a new subscriber I appreciate all the love and support and encouragement that you guys give me to continue to put out more content so if you have any ideas of what some future content should be please leave it in the comments and I will definitely consider them for future videos we full-time in our RV and we are currently in Texas it is my husband and I with our two and a half year old toddler, our cat, and our dog. So if there's anything that y'all want to know about us, please leave it in the comments and I'll see if I can answer your questions. I am thinking of doing a Q&A one day eventually. It's just so hard to get my husband to sit down and do it with me because of his work schedule. So thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe if you're new and please keep coming back if you already are a subscriber. I appreciate it so much. I love you guys. Punched out, Adam. No, you gotta click it. I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Alright, so we got the first shelf cut and it fits good, so we just made a template for the second shelf. We're going to cut it and then I think the legs are next and then we'll end up putting them in the cabinet. So. This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Alright, so we've decided to make the legs 11 inches high because that gives me enough clearance for my tallest container of uh, baking goods and it leaves enough clearance for my seasonings and stuff to go on the top shelf and the other stuff to go underneath it. So he is doing some last minute measures. What you doing, Bob? What color is that? Don't eat it. Orange? You opened it? Are you Blippi today? You dress like Blippi? Oh, you drew on your shoes. How cool. I think those are washable. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go check on dinner. Or lunch, whatever we want to call it. Alright. Looks delicious. I think I'm going to take it out the oven in a minute. So we took everything out of the cabinet so we could do the measurements that we needed. That's the air fryer. I need to put that back up there. So we emptied this out. And so from the bottom of this to here is about 11 inches. So that is what we're gonna do. So I'll have more shelving in there. I'm so excited. I love extra shelves in a kitchen because it, it allows us to, to have more options for food and cooking and stuff. And honestly, when we first started full-timing, uh, our pantry consisted of like a cabinet this size one cabinet two cabinets and that was it 
that is all the pantry room we had i wish i started i started a youtube at that time because we lived in a 25 foot palomino puma and it had one slide out which was literally for the sofa and that was it and we lived on pretty much uh canned vegetables because the freezer was so small and meat and we didn't really have much for carb options uh because we didn't have the storage for it so we've really upgraded with our pantry and our kitchen this is our third camper so to give you a quick rundown we started full timing in the end of february of 19 and right now it is may of 21. we started in a 25 foot palomino puma with one slide out that was in february of 19 in oct september october i think september of 19 we upgraded to a 32 foot keystone cougar with two slide outs which one slide out was like what we have here sofa dinette and then there was another slide out like what we have in here a bunk in grayson's room and then um in april of 2021 we just decided you know we really want something bigger um it's getting harder and harder for us not to feel like we're on top of each other with grayson getting older and toys and we just we wanted options and we told ourselves if we upgrade we're gonna upgrade big and something that's gonna fit everything that we want on our checklist and on our checklist was a coffee bar because if you know in campers counter space is very limited you don't exactly have space for a coffee pot a kettle a bread machine stuff like that and most campers honestly the only counter space you have is the little bit around the kitchen sink so we wanted a coffee bar we wanted a bunk room for grayson we wanted a residential fridge and we wanted a washer dryer now when we first started looking we thought about we thought about just getting a bigger bumper pool that had a washer dryer in it but we were like no because bumper pools if you know some of them have the low ceilings like our puma the ceiling was probably right here and we hated it. it made us feel claustrophobic but when we got the cougar the ceiling was domed so it made you feel like the ceilings were elevated but in a fifth wheel the ceilings as you can tell are pretty high because it accommodates for the bedroom or living room or whatever that's way up there with the stairs so that was on our checklist we wanted a washer dryer hookup we wanted a bigger living area because our living area and our previous one was so tiny compared to what we have now we wanted a bunk room for grayson obviously and we wanted our, we wanted a coffee bar and a residential fridge so that is how we ended up with this one so adam is finalizing the cuts on the wood he's gonna screw the legs on and we're gonna shove them in this pantry and we'll see how it looks so. I'm taking myself a lunch break because I did not eat breakfast so pretty much I had a can of corn peas and green beans and some fresh carrots that I chopped up I mixed it all together with the meat layered it with some instant mashed potatoes and put some cheese on top and that is my version of shepherd's pie we're actually kind of eating out of our pantry and freezer this week to see what we can use up so that's the lunch All right, we just got finished with lunch. I'm actually about to pack Adam and one of his co-workers some lunch. He has a co-worker at work that likes my cooking, so I always send him with extras. Um, so we have a lot left over. So when we have a lot left over, I always send extras to work for him, but I'm packing his lunch. He is going notch some more wood because it's not cut exactly the way he wants it. And then once I'm done packing his lunch, he'll probably be able to put the shelf in. But we stopped and took a little lunch break, and that is what I am up to now.
here is his lunch. He's got some shepherd's pie. And then he's got an orange, some uh, baby bell cheese, two uh, beef sticks from Sam's Club. That's a really good snack for us when we're hungry and we want some protein is some uh, baby bell cheese and some beef sticks. And then he's got an apple and that is going to be his lunch today. And probably going to throw in a um, zero sugar, zero calorie monster if we have any. Or a zero sugar, zero calorie uh, soft drink for him as a treat. And that is his lunch. Alright, here is the finished shell. The one he made earlier. So now I'm going to load that shelf up and show you all the after. Alright, so I did a bit of rearranging once he got the other shelf up there, but all of this is baking goods, like uh, different types of flours, oatmeal, stevia, rice, uh, and some potatoes, some other stuff that I use, and all of this is like, there's some baking stuff up here, like baking powder and stuff, seasonings, there's some snacks, some more snacks, grits, chips, and these are all my type of oil things, or... Um, syrup, MCT oil, ranch, like extra stuff, my apple cider vinegar, ham, breadcrumbs are in the back over there, just odds and ends, and then this is all my seasonings, have all my seasonings in here, uh, bouillon and stuff back there, some other seasonings, I actually have to go to the front office because I have more of these that just came in, these are the drink enhancers that we use. So, yep, that is the finished project. And then these down here, I don't know if I showed y'all, this is uh, all of our coffee. This is some sugar. We don't use sugar a lot. I do more of stevia or a sugar alternative. Adam only uses sugar for his coffee and I use it when we bake bread because he prefers that. And then we have some tea in there. This is... Um, oh look, another bag of chips. This is some pasta, some tuna, um, cornbread, odds and ends, popcorn, and then this is the snack drawer where we have a bunch of junk food in there. Um, so when it's snack time, Grayson knows that he can come and get a snack out of this drawer. So that is it, and then that top cabinet has more baking goods in it um but we're gonna add another shelf to that another day but here is our clean pantry now the only two things that did not fit in there is adam's giant box of fruity pebbles and pork rinds that we use as a crust for uh chicken so i think that is going to be the end of this vlog thanks for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next one.